Good evening everybody, it's Des here, back to talk about some more uh, basic knots, bends and hitches this evening. Um, we've done uh, an introduction to our different ropes and materials, we've done uh, different types of knots, uh, sort of a little bit of history on them. We've covered some very basic knots, the hitches, uh, sorry, the, 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 the stopper knots, uh, and then how to get a loop in a, in a piece of rope to make it more usable. So now, uh, what we're going to talk about is some specific knots that are very useful for joining two pieces of rope. And if you remember from one of our earlier earlier talks, um, this kind of knot is traditionally called a bend. Um, so a, a, you know, a knot to join two pieces of rope we'd normally call a bend. And the first of these two bends I'm going to talk about is a sheet bend, which is a fantastic knot, um, also known as a Beckett's bend or a weaver's knot or a weaver's hitch. Um, that's a fantastic knot used for joining lines of different diameter or stiffness together. Um, so if you have two different types of rope, two different types of material or thickness or, or, or hardness to work, um, this is um, a really uh, simple knot to tie to join those two bits, two bits of rope. Um, it's very quick and easy to tie, um, which, which is obviously a benefit, and it's related to um, the bowline knot. You can see, we, we build this and you see the structure, you'll see the similarities with the structure of the bowline knot. Um, so, first thing we've got is two different thicknesses of rope here. We've got our, 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 our twisted, our light rope, and our very fat, our sort of much smaller um, woven uh, cord. Um, we're going to just stretch these out to give myself some, some working room on the knots itself. Untangle, uh, untangle, untie this one, um, and I'm going to tie this sheet band. So, first thing to do is take the thicker um, or the, the, the harder to work, the stiffer of your two materials, and the first thing you do is put a band, uh, sorry, a band, a bite on that, on that, that, that piece of rope. You can see here I haven't got much of a bite on it. You know, I've just got a small bite, bite a loop in the uh, the rope itself. We're going to take the thin rope then, the end of the thin rope, and we're going to pass it through the bite that we put on the thicker rope. We're then going to wrap that around the bite itself and then tuck it underneath itself. You can see it going through there. Once we've tucked it underneath, we then simply pull that tight. And that is quite literally it. That there is a sheet bend. Nothing clever, nothing big. Um, about that and you can see you can sort of see the way the structure overlaps to give you that sheet and let's just put some pressure on that so you can see it at work that's me give it full welly and you can see that is nice and tight and isn't isn't going in or it can take a lot of pressure and a lot of strain on that there is some disadvantages to this and the first one probably is with the different materials and thicknesses of rope over time particularly if you've got a, a, a jolting on the rope i don't know if you can see there yeah, you can probably see um, it will start to, 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 to work loose um, a little bit, particularly if the, the ropes are particularly significantly different at different size. Um, there are a few uh, tricks we can use to get around that. Um, the first one is we can tie our stopper knot. We can take this end and potentially put a stopper knot on here to help with that, um, and or a stopper knot at, 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 on this end too. Um, but more likely the thinner end would have value from the stopper knot. Um, or we could tie what's called a double sheet bend. So for a double sheet bend, as before, we take our thicker uh, piece of rope, or our, our, our thicker material, and we put a bite in the end. We take our thin rope and we pass that thin rope through the bite, wrap it around the bite, through itself once. Oh, making a bit of a mess of pigs here of this. Through itself once, round again, and through itself again. And we end up with what's called a double sheet band. And you can see how that works there. You can see then we've wrapped round this thicker material twice um, and that will obviously give us more friction holding this together and less chance of that kind of action that you saw before and um, make it harder for that to actually free up and, and, and loosen the knot particularly if you've you pulled this tight in, in, in a month and that's a double sheet bend. However in most materials and most ropes are of comparable-esque size and this works perfectly well and you only need one one loop in that. Um, the other really useful thing about this this band is um, it's very simple um, as we, we sort of said at the start but also it doesn't jam it is quite easy to undo so when you need to take apart those two different bits of rope it's very quick very easy to to undo and you're not stood out there in the cold trying to untie something.
So one last time, we take our we take our bite on the uh, our bite on the thicker of the ropes. We take our thinner rope, we put it through the, uh, the the bite on the thicker rope. It goes wrapped around the bite itself, then tucked underneath and pulled tight. And that gives us our sheet band. Nice and simple, nice and easy to do. Really handy knot whenever we need to tie together two different thicknesses of rope. Thank you very much. Um, we'll be back shortly with another uh, another band. Thanks, guys.